Hi guys, and uh, welcome back to the vlog. Sorry if I'm looking rough I'm post nights, and yeah, I've done this before post nights. I don't know why I'm doing it again, but yeah, that's why I look rough. Um, welcome back. I wanted to uh, update you on the RS um, and what's going on with it. I've had a few people comment on the videos about what's going on. Um, so ultimately, I rang the same branches again for my car, and they said the same thing. Um, but then they changed tactics a little bit, so they initially said we just can't get the parts at all um, There's no chance of getting the parts uh, Ring back and then they rang me back and said actually you've got to have a letter from Ford Which is what a lot of people were experiencing was happening that they had to have a letter first So I was gonna make so I was gonna make, So I was gonna make a quick video and just bring you up to date and then the post came and lo and behold weirdly this morning Urgent action required concerning your vehicle. I have a feeling, I think, I know what this is going to say. Action 17B32, yep, that's the same one we've all had on our cars. Um, on some Focus RS vehicles, the cylinder head gasket may develop a coolant leak into the engine combustion chamber. The cylinder head gasket may develop a coolant leak into the engine combustion chamber. A leaking cylinder head gasket may result in noticeable white smoke and or low coolant without external leak. Our, record, our records indicate that you are the owner of a vehicle that may be affected, is affected, by this condition. This condition. Uh, it's important this vehicle is returned to a Ford authorised dealer and you will carry out the coolant system pressure test and replace the cylinder head gasket. Some vehicles may require a new cylinder head assembly. Basically the engine. The letter must be given to your Ford dealer whilst your vehicle is with them. There will be no charge, obviously, and your dealer will do his best to minimise your inconvenience. So, I mean, I read that as they're going to give me a courtesy car, they better give me a courtesy car. And it better not be like a KA. Um, it's a difficult trying to balance this channel with um, life and having a job. Uh, but that's the same for anyone who does this, really. Um, but I enjoy making videos, and I've tried to come to a plan to make a few more videos and try and be a little bit more consistent with the channel because I seem to go through fits and starts with it, and this is going to be one where I'm going to post probably regularly. And there's always going to be like delays in, in posting, but I've got a few ideas, things I want to uh, talk about. Um, there's a new focus that's out. Um, I plan on doing a few driving vlogs. Um, I've actually been using the car a lot less because of the engine failures. Um, because I want to take it out, I want to give it a good burn somewhere, but ultimately I haven't done that. It's been commuting regularly, but it hasn't been thrashed, and that's basically because I've been... I thought I wouldn't do this, but I've been acutely aware of the head gaskets needing replacement, and I didn't want to push it to the point it would fail. Um, so, I'm planning on doing a few vlogs about driving the car, I'm going to obviously do it a little bit about getting the engine sorted now, getting the engine replaced, not the engine replacement, the head gasket replacement. Um, and then I want to talk about a few other things as well. So obviously, I don't know if you've seen my other vlogs, um, but we do have a John Cooper Works Mini, which I barely talk about. Um, and we bought a new car as well. And I want to talk a little bit about why we've bought a third car. So I also want to talk about... Oh, that's gone a long way. I um, also want to talk about some new products I'm using on the car. Um, I've had a bit of a changeover recently on what I'm using, and I haven't really experimented with these yet. So I think it'd be worthwhile talking about these at some point. So there'll be a video coming out, me just talking about how I'd normally clean the car, and these products I'm using versus some of the older ones I've been using before, and what, uh, as I've said, what I've already got on the vehicle. So. The vehicle, by the way, as it stands, is absolutely filthy. I'll be back with the video as soon as possible.